Yes! Yes! So we finally, finally win! As we beat the Buffalo Sabres 4 to 1, and yes, we win! Finally, after just five depressing losses, we finally win! Yes! Finally! Okay, I was going over the game. So, um, we have Roberto Luongo in Nets, and speaking of that, fourth all time, fourth all time, all alone. So, way to go, Luongo, best athlete, best athlete ever. But um, anyway, um, yeah, let's just get to this. Um, the game was pretty boring at first. We all know that. We all knew it was gonna be a a, a low scoring game because it was the Buffalo Sabers and. Uh, so we're the worst teams in the league, but, um, anyway, um, let's just get on, let, 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 I'm sorry, let's just get on to this, um, so first, um, um, hmm, who scored, um, hmm, Kyle Opozo, I think, I could be wrong, Kyle Opozo scores, and Buffalo's up one nothing. but then we just, um, catch up, we tie it in the second, Evgeny Dadnoff, yeah, he just, um, does great this game in, in my opinion that whole first line in my opinion was very 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 good I mean they've been good for a lot of games so I mean and that's starting to like, help us more because of, of our first line because personally I think this first line is is way better than um last year's first line because again like I said Dadnoff is sort of in that age range with Huberto and Barkov that, rather than Yager who's just on um, like 20 years old, older than them seeing that Yager scored his first goal with the Flames last night so couldn't so congrats to him but um anyway um so then Ian McAshton in the third takes the league and yes I was like yes we have this but then we kind of got a little um hmm, we t I believe we took advantage of it too much and then Buffalo started to like have chances but then we did too McGinn had a chance he was like a few inches away but whatever um but then we got two empty empty netters by Barkoff and Trocek and that's in that sealed it up for a 4 2 nothing win and wow sealing up the game that's really very 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 good i mean we haven't done that in a long time i do not remember but anyway um i really hope we could beat the we could beat the devils next game because i'm just being honest they're going under a huge losing streak and yeah they're going under a huge losing streak and i really hope the panthers could take advantage of that even though i mean yeah, whatever. So I'm just very, very, very happy. I'm, I'm sure you guys are too. And I'll see you guys tomorrow against the Devils game. And, and real quick, um, for my, for my whole giveaway thing, next practice I have to call the Panthers Ice Den, and see like when their next practice is. I'm sure it'll be like I don't know because they're because they're home against Dallas on Tuesday, and then and then they're going back on the road to um I believe. California, they're playing San Jose, Los Angeles, Anaheim, I'm not sure, so, um, until maybe the next homestand, I don't know when that is, um, I would say, maybe at the end of this month, and also, like, early December, I'm not sure, and speaking of that, I'll be at the Panthers versus Islanders game December 4th, so if you guys are going, let me know, but anyway, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow against the Devils game, bye guys.